Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, uh, we did Chapter 5, and after being screwed over by technology twice, I'm finally in a position where I can record Chapter 6 through 8. Yeah, as you can probably tell from my status, I was delayed for a long time, and I am kind of recording this from the future right now, so, yeah. In any case... How could this be? For me to lose to anyone other than my dad is impermissible! Yeah, if I remember right, you lost pretty bad against Salvatore, and... You even got Jeffrey killed, so way to go there, Mal. <laughs> you did barely win against an enemy that didn't want to use her powers. <laughs> Salvatore. Power. Power that won't lose to anyone. Salvatore thinks she is above us. We cannot Caesar stand for this. My body into an invincible cyborg or a super alloy robot. But both will take too much time and effort. Zetai Mao Kaizo Kekaku? <laughs> Unlosing Overlord versus uh, other Unlosing Overlord. I don't know. <laughs> it's a video game. I said it. It's a thing. Why are you always cheating? Every game requires a diligent and gradual level up process. Except this Gaia. <laughs> this Gaia lets you power grind. But they also have cheat codes, like max out our levels instantly. What was it? Up, up, down, down. No, that's the one for 30 lives, Mal. Try again. That's cheating. <laughs> I'm all for cheating. I don't have time. <coughs> I must stop the seniors from defeating my dad before I get to, no matter what. Mal is taking this pretty seriously. The only one who has to worry about the time. You've got your own ticking clock to worry about. You're right. Let's cheat. <laughs> Cheating is fine and dandy, but this isn't a game. It's real life. So how can we cheat? There is one method. A way for the young master to gain the power to defeat the Diaz, gentlemen. Is it the item world? Mr. Jeffrey, you're alive? I thought you died earlier. Hmm. <laughs> I thought that might happen, so I wore a bulletproof vest. <laughs> of course. You cannot outplan Jeffrey. He is the best Batman. And why did you have to act like that? For drama. You said I can beat the Deus gentleman, so how do I do that? Yes, you must enter your heart once again. There, you shall pull out your potential powers. My feet are freezing. Where the heck did I put my slippers? Hang on a sec, guys. I will keep the cutscene running. Potential powers, huh? That thing heroes and allies of justice always have hidden up their sleeves, right? Directly tampering with a heart to find potential is the same as emphasizing the taste of using complementary spices. Indeed. Potential power is controlled by the subconscious heart. If we free them, young master's powers will be unleashed. I find it very interesting that Mr. Champlou is not against just hacking through Mal's heart to unlock his potential. You'd think a mentor type like him would be against it, I, but then again, I guess it is the netherworld. Hot sauce loving Mao made him hate hot sauce? That's how you drag out potential power? What about reviving from the brink of death or your best friend dying? Or overcoming your, uh, actually wait, overcoming your subconscious is kind of exactly what we're doing here, aren't we? <laughs> Persona. No. Just getting rid of subconsciouses will bring out his potential. Persona, 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 persona. Social link, social link, social link, social link, social link, social link. <laughs> I can't do that for very long. To be using force against his heart? I thought you were against that. Well, it just means that situations have changed. I don't see a problem with it now. You have flexible morals, don't you? He is traveling near the speed of light. That's why his morals have become relative. 
Though messing with the heart can be dangerous, it's not like you can take your sweet time leveling up. And by fighting alongside all of you, the young master's heart has matured. He should be fine to a certain point. Is that so? What? Don't say such horrifying things! <laughs> Of course, Mao objects to that. I see. I'm somewhat relieved. At least Sir Mao's heart has grown up a little bit. Looks like I've got to watch out. Next up, we need to bring out my potential powers, too. The rival steps up to the plate. Stop talking already! We're going to the heart bank! Mao's heart is growing. I don't know if it's true or not, but it makes me happy. If by being with us, Mao's trauma was even slightly relieved, that's meaningful enough for me. I think that kind of hurts. This beanbag I've been using... This beanbag I've been using for a chair is kind of going all flat on me. I might need to fill it up a bit more. thing, the subconscious. Make sure to release every single potential power now. I'm counting on you. Well then, I should be going. I must prepare for the great climax. Chapter 6, The Reckoning. Here we are! We're in a place. Place city, place, place, place. So, time to show off my party since you guys are probably watching this uh, playlist in chronological order. This is going to be the mainstay of my force. Commander Video, the Super Dimension Man. Um, you unlock the... Uh, you unlock the Masked Hero by having... A level 45 thief and either a gunner or a gunslinger, level 45. You unlock the gunner and gunslinger by having a level 15 magician and thief or a witch and thief, depending on the uh, gender you want. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Super Dimension Man is the final rank of, uh, of Masked Hero. They are really good item world runners. They have high move, they run right through enemies, and you can equip them with fists no problem. As such, I have given my commander video a plus three big bang. It uses up a lot of SP, but at his level it doesn't really matter. I will get into uh, our grinding spots at a later point in time. It's really the only uh, fist tech he needs. Uh, outside of the class world, but anyway. I also have this guy who is a druid I raised up for reasons I do not remember. Maybe to unlock the, uh, maybe that was to unlock the cheerleader, I don't know. I have these cheerleaders here, the space girls as I call them, but uh, we shouldn't need them either. Finally, we have the uh, four Diaz gentleman that I recruited throughout my uh, various cycles. <laughs> and we have these guys, of course. With that being said, it's time to start talking to people. Just look like a weird psycho. It's p the Prism Ranger helmet. I can't afford to sit away from the TV, guys. I have a pretty dang small TV. <laughs> Koter Sensei, I have four of them in my party. 
So shut up. <laughs> That's just silly. Now this guy, who is the outfit shop, he's not one of the regular NPCs. I think you unlock him through a class assembly bill, but really I just do not remember. It's been that long. This guy is the weapon guy, I'll need to talk to him. There's our heart banker. I think that's everyone. Let's check out the heart bank. Oh yeah, treasure chests. Let's see, in this chapter, there's a treasure chest here. Wow, 50k. I mean, if I wasn't already through to post game several times over, that would be pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> this game, this dialogue like this is why I love this guy. This is just so stupid. It's so funny. Oh, and there's uh, there's stuff back there too. Can I? Yeah. All right. Now that that's finally taken care of, how long have I been recording again? Anyway, my on my new agenda, I am probably only going to record one map at a time along with the uh, associated cutscenes. That way I can like take a break in between videos, get some water and stuff, and uh, make sure everything went okay before doing the thing. Oh yeah. Sorry, Jeffrey. You're the item world. You're not the heart bank. Blah. I'm derp. <laughs> She's an untouchable killing machine. <laughs> Mal does not remember what happened in, at the end of chapter 4 because he was just a baby at the time. My, how the years have passed in the mental world. Gave each of them a bribe. Trauma resident that's usually in that spot. Foreshadowing. <coughs> I don't know. As long as they're made, not made of actual spiders and spider webs, I think a spider web cookie would look pretty neat. Maybe tastes pretty neat too, depends on what you made the web out of. Anyway, actually one more thing I want to take care of before we, uh... Yeah, here's my entire roster. I have a big classroom. Here's King Drake the Third from Makai Kingdom. We do not need to worry about him very much, but... I'm going to appoint the Lift Inspectors Club for no particular reason other than just to get it passed. I should never need it for anything, I don't think. Attention. Actually, what am I saying? That'll come in handy uh, later on in this chapter. So I guess it's good enough that I decide, randomly decide on a win to <laughs> just unlock it. Here's our uh, random dungeons. Let's go! Evil Mind Vortex. Um, Princess? What is it, Almaz? Pardon my abruptness, but why did you remember me? That really was abrupt. I'm sorry. I've been curious since you told me. Uh, I had never actually met you. Huh? But, you see, you still consoled me. Our princess is an eavesdropper! What do you mean? Drop them eaves like they ain't no thing. That is bare. That barely qualifies as a sentence. I told <laughs> you that I can't cry, right? 
I'm an ungrateful princess who can't even shed a tear. I heard the rumors. Not a single tear during the funeral. She doesn't even cry in her own room. She's not tough, just cold-blooded. The princess has some nerve not crying for her mother, the queen. She's such an unlovable princess. Ouch. That's terrible. It's easy to judge by looking at the surface, but it's not like they looked into your heart. How would they know you weren't really... But that's it. Huh? That night, I couldn't fall asleep, so I was wandering around the castle and heard the argument from the barracks. A hero must answer the call of the voiceless voices. Lady Sapphire is alone in her sadness. The princess grieves in her own ways. Look at her hair, I heard. That time? You were listening? It was just a coincidence. I just happened to notice that a lock of your beautiful hair had been cut short. It's exactly as you said. I cut off a lock of hair and secretly placed it inside my mother's coffin. <laughs> she had always praised my hair. Though, afterwards, my grandmother scolded me for it. The only ones who noticed the change in my hair were my father, grandmother, and you, Almas. That voice, then, I've never forgotten. <laughs> Princess! Aww. Why are you crying? Are you going to cry for me? If it would make you happy, I'll cry for you as much as you want. So please, don't be sad anymore. You can ignore those heartless words. I'll make sure I erase them all. I will protect you for life. I almost von Amandine Adamant will die for you, Lady Sapphire. Almas, no, you can't. Huh? If you were to die, I would be greatly saddened. Uh, why is that? Hmm, I wonder why. I'm not exactly sure. What do you think? <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm more confused about this than you are. Oh, my lady, watch this. It's a love scene like we read about in our study guides. Could it be possible they might do the high-level skill from the 48 expressions of affection? The kiss? Calm down. Don't get too panicky. Kyoko, you go get the camera. Asuka, you prepare for the interviews. Um, do you mind not mocking us? <laughs> the subconscious. Defeat us and become very strong. But don't forget about that one time. Oh, that one time. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So these are my subconsciences. If I get rid of them, I'll become stronger, right? But they're acting strange, afraid of something. It's as if they are milk bottles nearing expiration. Gross. So what? It doesn't matter. It's my subconscious. I wouldn't know anyway. Let the subconscious subside. There's no need to hesitate. I'll show you. Okay, so, this map, um, if you don't have a guy that knows Big Bang like I do, what you want to do is carry the colored geoblocks and knock these guys off their, uh, off their perches here. They level up, so you gotta do it quickly, so have a lot of units with high move and throw. Another thing is that white dragons, they get more powerful the higher up they are. As you can see, uh, their status says height 84 DM plus 42%. That means all of their attacks are 42% stronger, at least these guys are. This guy is 48% stronger. 
as you can see, it doesn't matter the distance above the ground. It mean what it means is the distance above zero. Zero is, of course, the uh, bottom of the map, except when it's not. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's the bottom of the map. Anyway, that being said, I think what I'm going to do is... Let's see if I can work backwards. I have commander video, so why not? You are not a man. <laughs> You're a dragon. There's a difference. White dragons are pretty neat. I got a couple of characters that species in my various silly Disgaea roleplay things. And yeah, that's that. I think these guys have like magic or something, I don't even know. How is it, Mal? Are you stronger? Hmm, I feel slightly, somewhat maybe a little stronger, but it's nowhere near close to what I need. Huh. However, if I continue to beat them, I should become stronger, according to my calculations. Let me guess. Mr. Jeffrey told you. <laughs> oh, your subconscious seems to have dropped something. Is this a book? Oh, I have that comic too. I remember seeing it in Mao's room. Mao, you really are a fan of the superhero. Huh, let's see. What kind of comic is it? Damn it, Dad! You had to have done that on purpose! How many times must he break my game? How will I exact vengeance for my blood, sweat, tears, and four million hours? <laughs> hey there. Can I talk to you for a sec? Do you live in this house? It's a wanderer. Huh? Who are you? Ah, that face! That look! I've seen you before! The superhero. He has come to save the day! I see, so it's finally Dad's turn. I thought you might be coming to defeat him soon. Obvious foreshadowing is obvious. Oh, so you're the son of the Overlord. But you knew me just by looking at my face. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I will one day rule the Netherworld. I am devoted to various research. Whatever you say, Mao. You're obviously just a fanboy. Of course, I did my research on you. I have everything that relates to you. Games, comics, you name it. <laughs> well, I'm honored. So, I'm using the DualShock 4 to play this on my uh, PSTV right now because it's way more comfortable to hold than DualShock 3. Now listen carefully. Believe you me. My dream is to become a great overlord who can one day fight a rival like you. <laughs> the thumbsticks, man. They are just so much better than the PS3 stuff. I don't know how I managed. Which makes me sad because I'm going to have to go back to the PS3 controller when I when it's time to play Disgaea D2. Unless they port that to the Vita. But... <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty far-fetched. Considering it was a uh, low-budget game just for the uh, anniversary yes. and stuff. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> a simple request, my little friend. Come to think of it, it's been almost exactly a year since uh, the since the release of this guy 5 which is pretty neat Whoa, I gotta you always say. carry around paper and a marker you're well prepared he's the superhero of course he has to be prepared all right then in return I'll tell you where my dad is this scene I'm telling you thank you I'm sure this will be my last adventure I would love to bathe in the glory
we're kind of starting to see what the superhero is like. I mean, we heard about him through Almaz and his ramblings, but... Yeah. Last. Honor quotient. As far as I know, your father is the strongest overlord. That's right. You've got a keen eye for power. Which means my task is over after this. I can finally welcome some rest. I see. So you're finally retiring. All right, then. I'll tell you my dad's weak points. I really want to teach my dad a lesson. I'll help you out. Oh? But in exchange, promise me. Here, come closer. And then... That's it. And then this is how Mao's father died. Got it? Is it a promise? All right, I promise. You're already a friend of mine, and friends never betray each other. <laughs> friends, huh? Oh, you like that? Who'd like that, ever? Demons must relish solitude. Oh, is that so? They're oaths of a demon that I came up with. I will one day stand at the top of all demons. I see. Then good luck to you. You can do it. One day, you'll be a great overlord. Who was that, Mal? Didn't look like anyone I know. I don't know. You don't know? But wasn't that your own memory? Must have been a subconscious. I don't know. Could that have been... Wait, but could it be? Could it be what? Don't tease us. Just say it. No! That would be spoilers! In spite of all the obvious foreshadowing. Oh, sorry. That man, it might have been... You don't have to say it! I said it was a subconscious! We're supposed to get rid of him. We don't have time to chat. Hmm. That shadow. Could it be? So it was he who cast this dark shadow into Mao's heart. Hmm. All right. Finally done with the cutscenes and stuff. In the next episode, we are going to go deeper into the heart, clear out some more subconsciouses, and hopefully reveal, unveil Mao's hidden potential. Which we already have in the form of a super attack, but I'm not going to share that with you just yet. <laughs> You'll get to find out what it is later. That being said... Thank you all for watching. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe and stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Later all. This freaking thing. <laughs> this thing, I'm telling you.